Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews, I'm Radar. Special K, and in this extra wide size 13 Doc Martens box, <laughs> I have taped shut our experimental aging. It has been one year. Uh, we moved to set in a storage unit for a while. There There's are, an ant trapped under the there tape. There are probably bugs. <laughs> uh, tape shut, we're gonna open it here on camera, and we are gonna taste our one aged um, whiskey bourbon, or whiskey moonshine, I don't have our control anymore because, yeah. But, we remember them enough. You guys can check out other videos. Oh, look, there's vodka squeeze in here too. Oh no! Reason. Did you use a vodka squeeze to pack it? What this? else is in here? Like, it's like a, oh, there's a Growler Master Heavy Duty. <laughs> there are a bunch of vodka squeezes in here. <laughs> there's just a bunch of vodka squeezes. Ooh. I did in fact use vodka squeezes to help, uh, to, to help stabilize, stabilize the, the package. This is empty. Well, that's in there, you know, for placeholder. Oh, cool. God! That's what color that is. Which one is that? You can't even see through that. So it's been- Don't shake it up too much. You'll 10, get all the sediment up 10, into 22, it. 10, 19. So this is, uh, it's been a little over like a, a year and a few days. Uh, this is- I, I feel like it's 10, like 26, 25 yeah, today? 26. So this is my Uncle Donald's uh, moonshine, real moonshine. Aged on a stave and a cube, so a Hungarian oak cube and a barrel stave. And that was really good to begin with. Like, and it is, he is an artist. Molasses. Yeah, and I'm afraid you've shaken it so much now that there's gonna be like wood pulp up in this. Are you gonna drink that now, my my dude? That that was hardcore. This is the angel investor of KBR. All right. That is true. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's floating. Yeah, they weren't floating before. No, they're, they they're, were not. You should eat that. No, it's I don't probably think flammable. I will. You know how flammable that would be. Whew. Let me have just a little bit of that. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me see this. Mingo, you mind getting us uh, some paper towels? Uh, it looks a little more manageable in the glass. Oh, that was uh, glued to the countertop just a little bit there. So it is Coca-Cola colored in the glass. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a deeply aged color. Like, so, to be fair, we, we double aged this, so it probably shouldn't have had cubes and a piece of wood in this one. The cubes made it dark, I, as I recall, it started to take on color almost instantly. So, I mean, this stuff, yeah, it's, it's coat color in the glass. Uh, it doesn't smell that bad, honestly. Um, very woody. Uh, is this the watered down version or is this the full force version? This is full force. Okay. So it's very nice and woody. It has a little bit of like a um, uh, wet wood smell, like after it rained and you're in the woods. Mm -hmm. um, I actually kind of like the 70% version that he made. Well, it was it was definitely more than that, but he proofed it down. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, let's uh, take this. This is, this is all damn near 100%. <laughs> like, this is very alcoholic. That's catch our souls on fire. That's hot. It's real hot. It's very, very hot. But, it is also a very round flavor. Like, the alcohol in it, very, very pointy, very sharp. It's, it's definitely like 90, 90%. Uh, surprisingly good. But there's also like a molasses, rounded, it tastes like a candied flavor in this. Yeah, that's molasses, bothering me. Molasses, heavily wooded. Uh, it does taste like the woods after rain. Like specifically, if you could breathe that flavor mm -hmm. in. Uh, it's really other than being a high proof. I'd say if we watered this down some. Yeah, if we brought uh, that down to like like 60, 70 percent, that would be killer. I, I I still don't think I'd sit there and sip on it. But uh, but that little sip of it. I'm I'm prepared now. <laughs> so now this is gonna be the last time we we approach these probably. So uh, let's go ahead and so is our experiment successful with the homemade moonshine aged? Would you say yes or no? With this, it, this specific it one? is, but I don't think it needed to sit for a year. Uh, I think it did because I think I remember at, at the uh, six month mark it was it was wasn't quite um, this good. It probably we could have used half the amount of. I think having both the wood in there was good, but I think we should use half of each one. Mm -hmm. uh, it probably would have helped it out a lot. Um, 
This is good. I mean, I would, I would, if I drank, if, if somebody gave me this, if it was watered down a little bit, I would say, oh, this is like a sixty dollar bottle of bourbon mm -hmm. or something. It's that heavy. Oh, on is the this wood. that single barrel? Yeah, it definitely <laughs> reminds me of a single barrel. That's for sure. Like, well, I mean, is, if, this is barrel proof. At this uh, proof, for sure, yeah. This is this is a barrel proof uh, whiskey for sure. Any of the weird corn funk that was there from the moonshine is gone. Yeah, even though actually this is a stave proof. It's true. This is stave proof bourbon or whiskey. Sort of the same. Actually, it is bourbon because it's. Uh, he used all corn for this, didn't he? Yeah. It's an all corn mash. Yeah, all corn mash. Yeah, that's uh, that that. Well, I don't know if that. No, it doesn't because it's not in a. It's not in a in an oak barrel that's been used for the first time. We're going with bourbon. It's fine. I can't go. It's it's whiskey, but it's damn good whiskey. Okay. All right, all time right. for the next one. Redard, pick your poison. What do we got there? Uh, oh, <laughs> that's another dark one. Oh, it's Kirkland. This is this is Kirkland London Gin. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's black. That is darker than that whiskey. Black gin. So this is uh, gin aged on barrel staves. So this is just the staves, not the cubes. It's stained the lid. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I think we might have put too much wood in there. My God. In retrospect, that. that's disturbing. It is darker, for sure darker than the, uh... oh, it's green. It's for sure darker than the uh, yeah. bourbon. I um, once had a hand-me-down suit that was this color. Um, yeah, it's 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 black, but it has like a it's, green tint to so it. So it started its life as black, but then like, no, no, that's faded just, to a greenish. Yeah, black actually, that's yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> you know, I, was, I was like, that's just how old this it. was. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells like gin. I, I'm trying to remember. Like, uh, we have had an aged gin before. I think no, we've had one. It's it smells like a Christmas tree, like a, a forest of Douglas firs. <laughs> that's what. Yeah, it smells. this smells like this smells like a Douglas fir out in the wild. Yeah, this does not smell like a Douglas Free fir. Range. This, yeah. is not, this is not a Douglas fir in your in your living room. This uh, is one that one of those people that lives by the interstate has gone out and like decorated a tree. I would say next to the road. It's definitely mellow. It's definitely more mellow than when it was straight gin. Yeah. Uh, still, that color though is scurry. It's yeah. It's, it's, I don't. I don't think I like the color very much. It's uh. It's 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 that color. I need to. I don't know how to describe that color. Uh, this is only barrel staves. Yeah. Too like. Oh, it was an end piece on this one. Oh, that one was really dark. That barrel stave was pretty dark. Oh. That's that's a uh, that's like a like an ebony stain has been put on this. But if you think about for the amount of volume we had and the amount of size of stave that is, that's probably a lot. Yeah, that is quite a bit of charred wood to be involved with any amount of liquid. But look, look at how dark yeah, that this is. One you has... can still see a little bit of the figure in the wood. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, taste it. That's weird. It tastes like medicine. Uh, it's very bitter. It doesn't have any of those sweet caramel woody notes that you would like. Um, it just, tastes like there's a niece in this now. Do you get a niece? A little bit. It, it tastes like um, it tastes like medicine, man. Like it's like it ben, like Ben Gay or something. Like, like or like, icy hot. This tastes like something that would cure me if I was sick for sure. Yeah, I mean it does. Um, I don't know. I, it, I don't know if I give this a pass or not. No, that's not. I'm gonna say no on that one. Like this could be a really interesting mixing ingredient, though. Uh, like, a, think about the drinks that you make with uh, with anise based drink or not anise based drinks, but drinks that get like a little shot of of anise in it. Um, this this could be interesting. I, I could see where this would be good. Not to sip the so excited to go to the dentist water. in seven hours. Oh good, your dentist is gonna be like Jesus, dude. Wow, come back in a week when you've come down off your, I'm off gonna your say, liquor. No, this is not this has not made it. So we're gonna put this one to the side and <laughs> that's good, that's bad. You know what? When this when when the uh, when the studio finally goes up, these should go on the very top shelf. This should be our top shelf right here. Yeah. On to the next one. We're gonna go with this one. This is oh, uh, Kirkland Tequila H on cherry honeycomb stave. Oh I remember these. Okay. 
So Kirkland tequila, so this was silver tequila, mm -hmm. and we aged it for one year on uh, honeycomb, and it looks. And these these honeycombs were the were the lightest uh, char. the lightest char that you could get. So like, I was looking at them, and I swear they don't look like they've been burnt at all. Like maybe smoked a little. Uh, bit. This is the color you would have a uh, gold tequila. So this is the right color. Yeah, it reminds me of a. Uh, it reminds me of a realistic uh, gold tequila for sure. Now the question is. Uh, now, this is far too high class for Montezuma. Come on now. Let's take a sniff on that one. That is weird. I kind of like that. It's a little bit like uh, caramely. I mean, it start. This stuff started out kind of perfumey. It has a no. It was very. I remember that this pep. This this uh, tequila was distinctly very peppery. Mm -hmm. Now it is. It's got a weird, uh, like almost like potpourri uh, nose on it. It's like potpourri, yeah, and it doesn't yeah. really smell too much like tequila. There's a hint. Yeah, there's there's, there's some, a hint there's of it on the back end. Still in on there. the back end, and it's just a little bit peppery. Like there's a peppery note to it. Not very much. Potpourri. All it's right. it's definitely got some potpourri in it. It feels like we put potpourri inside of tequila. Let's see if we go blind, shall we? It definitely tastes like a little bit like potpourri. It does. But the peppery pepperiness still comes through, um, and the agave still comes through. It's surprisingly not sweet at all. I remember this yeah. tequila being a little bit sweet. Um, it's rounded off a lot. It's not awful. No. It's kind of got a vanilla potpourri character. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's very distinctive. I've never tasted a tequila with this distinctive. It could be the wood that we use. I'm assuming it's probably that cherry wood. Yeah, that potpourri I, I, I want to put I want to put like some of those cubes in this. Those those I or feel like would have been good. Or regular barrel stave would have been. Or fine. yeah, the little oak barrel stave. Um, this one I'm gonna put this in the middle. I'm on the middle on this one. <sighs> only it's bad. Only it's good. Uh, it's not. I, wouldn't call I think it it's a, better than the gin. I wouldn't to call it a total failure. I would go with this over the gin for sure. I'm gonna put it in the middle. I think that's where it goes. So this is good. This is man. This is bad. We got we got that down. Oh yeah. All right. See, I know that there's one in here that I do not want, oh. but I really want to unwrap one. Oh, I hope. Do not pull the Everclear out, please. Ah, oh. what's that one? White dog. Oh, okay. With uh, Hungarian yeah. oak cubes. So this is a Buffalo Traces white dog. So it's Buffalo Traces bourbon mash uh, with Hungarian oak cubes. Yeah, Buffalo Trace makes an unaged uh, an unaged whiskey, and yeah. you can buy it. And we've sort of, kind of turned it into a, a bourbon, but not really. It's oh, look at how gooey that is. It's sweat, sweat, sweat. Uh. We didn't get a whole lot of it, and so we didn't make a whole lot of it. So technically, a lot. This color looks pretty good. I mean, this it's color still dark, looks really nice. But it's it's a little dark. But again, this would be something. Uh, if you don't know how White Dog's kind of a high proof too, so this would probably need a little bit of a it's higher, watering yeah, down. I guess, yeah, it's, I it's, it's like fifty something, fifty six or something. So uh, it is again Coca Cola. I would say it's not quite as dark as the first one, but it's pretty dark. My goodness, that's yeah. That's nice and caramel colored. That's nice. Very vanilla. Lots of vanilla. It's, it smell. It smells like a like really an old barrel house. Mm -hmm. Like old old barrel house. Like it's been you know old crickety wood floors. Oh, that was all just alcohol. I just whiffed a whole bunch of alcohol out of that one. I think also I think if we lit this, it would also poof. Uh, it's pretty. Oh yeah. Pretty potent on the alcohol. Blow the alcohol vapor off and then smell it. Yeah, it's 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 strong. All right. That that's interesting. Good at first, bad too at long. the end. It went too long. Mm. Starts out good, finishes off exceptionally bitter you get all that wood tannin in there yeah. so this one's bad that one went way too long uh too many cubes too i think mm -hmm. there's four or five in there no, there's more than four or five in there. <laughs> i see one of the, one of them is not even a cube it's a big old chunk uh starts out good immediately gets disgusting there's a lot of cubes in oh one, my two, God. three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13 cubes. Next time, four. That's a lot too much wood for that much liquid. Uh, I'm going to go with the no on this one. <laughs> no on the white dog. Starts this, out good. I give this a no out of yes. All right, I'm going to go with... Uh, Choose wisely. I'm going to grab one. What was that wrapped in? Uh, Doc Martin's paper. Oh. Man, that was special. The rest of this just uh, got like regular craft paper. This is Hungarian oak cubes with member marked white rum. So this is uh, Sam's Club rum with uh, Hungarian oak cubes. And it's 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 Kraken colored. Yeah. It kind of is, yeah. Kraken black. Ooh, that last one, dude. Oh. <laughs> this one's interesting. I like the color. The that's color nice. turned out nice. Yeah, that's it's, it's, very it's nice. lighter. That's that's the color I'd want for a rum. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> we should have spiced it too. <laughs> I kind of like the smell. Like that's nice. Uh, it it smells sweet. Of course, it was already pretty sweet. Uh, very vanilla. -y. Lots of wood. Um, lots of uh, like burnt caramely wood. It's weird. Woodiness. Uh, it almost and smells those, like a house fire. Those Hungarian cubes are very powerful. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Ah! Ah! Worse than ah! Ah! Worse than the uh, worse than the uh, white dog. No, it's not. It's bitter all the way through. Yes. Yeah, worse than the worse than the white dog. <laughs> Worse. No. It's awful. You know what? I, I, tag in, Mingo. Come over here and tag in. I'll tell me, right tell me your your opinions on this juice. Let me try both because maybe there, you it, got more sediment than him. Or some, some it's awful. <laughs> what the fuck Are is you, that? Did you just do that to fuck with me? Because I think you did. Because it's awful. I, I think it's awful. It's not. It doesn't taste like rum at all. No, they taste. Well, it's, it's it's not awful. It's been aged now, the but it's taste awful. Is totally different. It's awful. I don't think it's bad. Uh, it's awful. You agree? It's awful. It's so fucking bitter. I know. Literally, acetone plus wood is what this tastes. Going like. in the bad column. Rinse us, Mingo. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, man. man. That's Staves. Do that one. Staves. Yeah. That's uh, Kentucky Moonshine, yeah. which is store bought moonshine, <laughs> aged on barrel staves. This one looks pretty. You know that it's been aging for a while because the, the, even the lids have a little bit of rust on them. Yeah, they're getting there, man. Uh, luckily, the inside has got a rubberized coating, as it do. And all of these have little little rings where it's like evaporated and dripped back down. Hey, no, it's good. You see the oil slick right there? Yeah. There is an oil slick in this liquor. Hey, no, it's good. Hang on, I, you see that right on the edge there? That's flavor. Right around that, right flavor. around that Leave piece of wood. Yeah, I do definitely see that. It's, uh, all right, fine. From the lid, That's flavor. Just, just let me have some of there. That's this weird. is also kind of green. <laughs> yeah, it's similar color to the jar. Uh, yeah, similar color. Ah, no. I mean, look, look if you held it up to the Man, light. There's it looks... oil on top of this. It smells decent, though. Uh, I think these barrel staves might have been the best choice. Yeah. Lots of caramel. Lots of wood. No, nothing off putting in the nose. Um, this moonshine was, I, I can't remember exactly, but it definitely wasn't uh, over, it wasn't over 50%. Uh, so it wasn't over 100%. I think it was like 40, maybe 80%. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, there's something, there's something weird about the, the scent, but I can't really get it. I'm going to try it now. Mmm. Nice and sweet. Wood forward. Mm-hmm. Nothing bad in that one. There's like an extra sweetness on the end. It is. It's probably the shine. It's the shine. Oh well, yeah. It started out pretty, pretty sweet to begin with. There is like an extra, an extra sweetness though. 
that I was not expecting. This is definitely a sipper. I, I could drink this. I'm going to go say yes on this I'm going to do yes. This is a yes. This is a pass. Yeah, that's, so that's this is one. the uh, Moonshine H on Staves is good. So we have three bad ones, one meh, and then two good ones. <laughs> All right, next we have the Clear Springs uh, with honey with the honeycomb. So if you don't know what the Clear Springs is, it's great in alcohol, 95% alcohol by volume, or 180 It's proof. cheaper than Everclear, <laughs> uh, just so you know. This is going to be rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, phone. The the machine did not understand that. <laughs> oh man, this one gonna, would in fact light on fire immediately. If I'm gonna had. drink such a small portion of this. Like the color is nice. It's very honey. Like it's it's just it's like, like a Irish, light honey color, Irish, like Irish whiskey color. Yeah, like if you were gonna make, if you were gonna go and buy some of that uh, that Jameson? stuff that's called honey, but it's not honey. You know, it's called like a honey product or something. That's what color that is. And I, I knew it was going to smell like that. Oh. <coughs> it burns? It burns without even without even tasting it. Yeah. I don't know if I can drink this one either. Did you just drink it? Yeah, he did. <laughs> I think he just threw up in his mouth a little bit, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take one for the team on this one. I don't mm. know, man. I couldn't hold that in my mouth for very long. I tried. I tried. It just smells... It just it just tastes like it smells. Spicy, alcoholic... <clears throat> it evaporates pretty fast off your lips. Yeah, I got some on my lips. It's not there anymore, but I got some on my lips. <laughs> It's just straight fire. Take this away from me. Uh, the wood did nothing to help it. Well, to be no, fair, there wasn't... some woodiness. Look, there wasn't any off flavors in this. For wood to it. It's just alcohol and wood. That's because it only takes... Okay, it does have some wood taste yes. to it. It does have some there wood. I'm going to put it in the middle. I think it deserves the middle. God damn. You can't put that in the middle and not put the bitter drink in the middle. No! Because this is, it's supposed, we started with a bad ingredient. It wasn't going to get better. Get any better. That's just not. All right, we have two more left. Not tasty, uh, my dudes. Let's, let's go with our last Hungarian oak cube. It is nasty, my dudes. This is Kirkland gin with Hungarian oak cubes. So this is the H gin. It has many, many less cubes in it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this might be passable. Doesn't have 13 cubes in it? No. It has like six cubes in it, so half that amount. So really, we just needed like, for this amount of liquid, like a half a cube. I do like the color, it's like red. It's like, it's like, uh, you know that, that bourbon that uh, was aged, like it was started in bourbon barrels and then finished in port wine barrels. I can't remember what it was called. What? Where? Uh, it's a Buffalo Trace product. I can't remember what it was called. Listen to my description, it's serious. Okay. This smells like, you work at a Christmas tree farm and you've been cutting Christmas trees all day and you don't wear deodorant. <laughs> and you don't wear deodorant. But it is accurate. <laughs> it's not even Christmas trees. It's what is that little plant that looks like a Christmas tree? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a... Bush. In the bush. You can use it to cook with and I can't remember what it's called. It tastes like Christmas trees too. I, I, I can't remember. Anyways... Rosemary? No, I don't think it's rosemary. What is that? It noise? smells so my turtles. It smells oh. so much like BO. It's disgusting. Is it Copper and Thief? I don't think I like this. No, Cooper and it's Thief? the most BO smelling drink I've ever smelled. Like armpits. I don't want to put this in my mouth. It smells like I'm putting a dirty, dirty armpit in my mouth. Oh, Let's do it. No. Also tastes like dirty armpits. Hmm. Makes my tongue a, li uh, tongue a little um, numb. Oh man. Um. Hmm. That's gonna be in the no column for sure. I agree. Mingo, wash me. Hmm. Oh, the Christmas tree flavor. Moisturize me. The Christmas tree flavor really, really irks me. It's interesting. Now, 
This is, uh, this last one we have here is the Kentucky Store Bought Shine, aged on red oak. Gotcha, okay. So it's about the color of, like Jameson, like a, like a. Yeah, powder. no, that's darker than Jameson. Maybe it might be just because of the, the pieces of wood inside of it that are, that are, that are throwing me off. Man, I don't know about the, uh, the last one though. Put some hair on your eyeballs. <laughs> I really do think the only one that's the only ones that were good were have good. had staves in them so far. I agree. Uh, this one's got red oak and I have high hopes for it. It doesn't have cherry oak. It looks like uh, it looks like some sort of like boutique honey flavored whiskey, doesn't it? Though, like those little pieces of wood with the holes in it. It doesn't smell bad. No, the smell is nice. Uh, I think, I think it just smells nice. like a lightly aged uh, whiskey, like very lightly aged, um, just a hint of wood, hint of vanilla. Like, like it reminds me of very, something Canadian. Like very young, something very young. It is, it's even sweet like a Canadian whiskey. Eh. Reminds me more of an Irish, but yeah. I'll pass that. Yeah, that's passable. I passed that. That is more Irish. It's yeah. Uh, it's definitely more of an Irish. It's got more of a more of a hairy chest kind of taste to it. Yeah. Like only only manly men can drink this. Uh, not to say that Canadians are not yeah, manly, but like, Irishmen. This tastes like a very young, <laughs> yeah, very young Irish whiskey. Um, passable. I'm yeah. gonna go say yes. And it's it's even got kind of like a bite, like I would expect from an Irish whiskey. I would. I, I'll, I'll take three out of nine. I'll take three out of nine. I think three out of nine is not a bad, and and we've learned a couple of things. Yeah. Go with. If staves. we ever try this again, staves. staves, and maybe we should try it again with like some some of the Hungarian oak cubes. So like two. But like one. <laughs> yeah. One. This is fun. Uh, if you guys want to see us do something similar to this again, let us know in the comments down below. This was a long and very tedious video though, <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah. yeah. It was fun, that's for sure. I might box this up and wait and, and, and 10 years from now on KBR anniversary, <laughs> be like, all right boys, who wants to go blind? <laughs> who wants a that's, pine cone? You only, go, you only go blind if you make the liquor out of the out of the alcohol, or if you make liquor out of the wood. Well, let's age some That pine, makes you well, go blind. Let's use pine cones. Let's age that's, it on some pine cones. That's a terrible idea. Make some pine cone <laughs> liquor. Um, <laughs> It was fun, but yeah, I mean, hey, you know, these are good. Those were surprisingly good. I, I was honestly a little bit worried that none of this would be good. I'd actually go in that order, too, at which one's the best. I would say definitely yeah, the okay. homemade. I think you're right, yeah. Followed by the, the so the, the moonshines. They're all moonshine mash, so that makes sense. They're all moonshine and they're all stay. Well, this one's not a stave. This one is the uh, honeycomb, but the first two are staves. Yes. So. I think those staves did really well. Oh, this had cube in it too. The first one had Hungarian cubes in it too. How many does? How many's in there? I see two. Okay, that makes sense. So. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.